So welcome to this tribute today on Tuesday the 29th of December 2020. It is one year since the loss of our dear friend Bronco, Akav Herman Filbert, Herman Anthony Filbert. So I'm going to celebrate his life with some of his work. Um, there's been some dedications and my own words, my own memories about this man who inspired me so much. So he was a renowned carnival artist and here at the Rising Sun Art Center he has done many floats for the East Reading Community Carnival and you can see I've sort of done a selection I'll go to each piece individually um, most of these belong to a float that had a theme that was the theme of the year for the float Philbert indeed would have two or three carnivals every year he, he would go to the London the, the famous um, carnival in, in London <clears throat> and he would also have a carnival every year here with the Rising Sun. Sometimes we got some funding, sometimes it was self-funding where we charged people. But yes, so Philbert has passed on his skills to many thousands of children and adults. And here is just a little selection of the work to celebrate, I think, to celebrate his life. And I think you can see from the different themes what the theme was for each carnival. So here we have the Romans. Um, here we have plants, where there was a whole f float full of plants, flowers and other plants. There was a marine theme to this. And here we have, obviously, India marked with a beautiful banner here. So he was gifted in many of the creative fields. He was also very, very sportsman, cycling, boxing and running. But yes, you can see in all these works I've shown you, he has had his hands and I remember many a year when the weekend before the carnival, we would be upstairs in the workshop, finishing off sometimes 30, 40, 50 children's and adults' costumes, just attaching the last few little bits, details, as you can see. And Philbert was not happy till the last bit was on. And that took us, yes, through many nights with no sleep, but just, yes, the creativity, the wanting to communicate with the world. There was a very strong environmental aspect in his work. And one of the dedication talks about the cardboard that was recycled from their ventures by Filbert. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of these masks here, headpieces were made out of this cardboard, also textiles, he would recycle textiles for all the various costumes and some of the more beautiful pieces are right here as you can see glistening away in the little bit of sunshine that we have. So I will now show you the man himself, some photographs that his daughter Patricia so kindly sent to me. So obviously here is a young man, 14, 15, maybe 13 years old. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Yes, here in the Caribbean, still a very young Philbert. And then soon, yes, he would travel the whole world. And here are some costumes. Actually, this one you have seen. It's the one that is just up here and I think there must have been some American swing theme to that float 
Uh, the red hats that I showed earlier should also be part of that. This would be the Aztec theme, and a good example of that would be the, uh, the headpiece of the leader, would be this headpiece here. And you can see how intricate this has been stamped. There's hours and hours. I can remember him with a little hammer and a little chisel decorating. This is tin, very, very thin tin, and no doubt that would be recycled too. So back to the photographs. So you can see the man whose life we're celebrating today. It's one year since he left us, sadly. Here enjoying time with family. And for me, this is one of the most wonderful pictures of him. It sums him up really. It says from Herman, one love to all. And Philbert was extruding love. Not to say that you couldn't have an argument with him, of course. But in the end, you'd always agree to disagree. And then you have a smile and a glass of rum. There you go. So here's some more costumes. And he would always be a participant in the carnivals. Here's some dedications and thank you letters from the many organisations, including Reading University, that he worked with, many schools. Here, the boxing I mentioned earlier. A man of many talents, fixing engines. And then his time at the military. He told me about his placement in Germany. And also stories from, yes, around the world where he was. Here, relaxing outside the, the barracks with some friends. Here, running. A very, very sporty person. But this is how I've known him through the wonderful costumes that he made and we made together. Oh. Yes, this is a picture I saw of him a lot, especially here in Reading. They're celebrated at the end of the May, it's on, on the bank holiday Monday. And it will, be, it will be months and months where Philbert would be sitting by his sewing machine. He was always attentive to every single participant, making sure their costume was right, it fitted them, and it, it was what he wanted. He would even adapt to wishes. And by the way, here you can see the hats that you've seen before as well. But I'm going this way. So here he is enjoying himself at the carnival itself, just extruding love, extruding kindness, extruding creativity. Yes, so I think it is now time to do a toast. I don't think Phil would, would have liked us not celebrating his life and celebrating on his behalf. My name is Felix Brunner. And you will see me briefly just enjoying a glass of rum. So this is for you, Philbert. This is for your love. And our souls will meet one day. One day we'll all rejoin again. To you, Philbert Bronco. So back to more important matters, his costumes. And, of course, as I showed you with the Aztec head lead piece, um, this would also be the lead piece. I would imagine it was India that was celebrated in this float as a theme. It is just absolutely wonderful, the detail that this man has gone into decorating, decorating these pieces. And you can imagine how this looks. The ones of you have seen carnivals, proper carnivals, proper West Indian carnivals, they will know this is an artist. And he wasn't shy passing on his, his talents. 
Right, in a moment we're going to, uh, I'm going to read out some dedications and I just wanted to show you, here are the hats again that we've seen on the photographs. Yes, you can see the love in these pieces. Obviously here the theme was creepy crawlies, insects, beetles, butterflies. And there, that would be the marine theme again, the fish. And those were fish that I think were not quite finished. And up there, the Aztec theme again. It's many, 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 many f fond memories I have with this man. This shoulder piece would be about 10 foot tall. And at the end of the carnival, you would know <laughs> that you've been carrying something. But with a glass of rum, everything becomes a little bit easier. And of course, it is always important to decorate the pieces both at the front and at the back. Because as soon as you're parading and thousands of people are watching, they wanna don't only want to see you from the front, they will also look back at you. And if you're beautifully decorated, then yes, you may even get Carnival King or carnival float. So now we're going over to the dedications. So this is from the Filbert family. Bronco, a good friend to many, devoted dad, brother, uncle and cousin is clearly missed. One whose voice you would hear saying Hello, 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 who shared jokes that took you back to things you would rather not remember, and who sh shared himself with so many. His joviality and caring nature will never be forgotten. So that's from his family. And here from Deborah. I have so many fond memories of my time spent with my uncle, Herman. Womad, helping at the art centre, trying to teach me to swim. He also lived with us for a time and would tease me non-stop. He was a man of integrity and kindness. And I, like so many others, with, will miss him, Deborah. So for the others I will need to put on some glasses. Uh, the writing is a little bit smaller. And these were sent to me in text and I have written them out so I can read them. My eyesight is beginning to fail me slowly. I'm aged 58 now. So this is from his sister Masia. As we approach the first anniversary of our dear brother Herman, Bronco, as better known to your friends, who departed from us so suddenly. My brother, you are gone from our lives, but not our hearts, and will surely be missed. May your legacy continue to inspire all those who know you and came into contact with you through your work. May your soul be in peace and rest in peace. So that's from his sister Marcia. And here from Sharon. I am so proud to be his niece. From, hi from him teaching me to swim to being an absolute creative person around me. There are no words to say how much I miss him. Creativity is what he showed me and that continued throughout. Very blessed. Loved and very much miss our laughs. The big laugh. Laugh from Red Aunt, Aunt and Giraffe. So these are the dedications from the family. And here is one from a shared friend of ours, well, shared friends of ours, Chris and Joanne. Through his incredible art creativity, Filbert was a community builder. 
supportive of the early days of True Food Co-op when it was a community food hub, when buying lashings of ginger beer, he used to buy up all stocks. Philbert often took away our colourful illustrated organic food boxes for use in his artwork, as I have mentioned here, right at the beginning. That's why so much fresh produce was loose at the Rising Sun Art Centre. We helped one of his incredible carnival float creations, probably 2005. Palpable excitement of showing the artistry of Philbert and so many creative young people that he guided and inspired, helped drive the wider local community forwards. When Larry from the Rising Sun Art Centre offered us use of the small porter bin in the yard, Philbert was on the scene early to retrieve some large metal and wood framed artworks which he wanted to transform for next carnival. Waste not, want not. Reuse and upcycle was what Philbert did in much of his artwork. Yes, so with those words, with those dedications, it is time to end this tribute. And let's hope that all of us viewers can extrude as much love into the world as this man truly could through his words and his deeds. So thank you for watching. And may all of us be blessed, and may you, Philbert, be blessed.